Congratulations. What do you plan to do with the almost $670 million that you raised? Yeah, thank you very much. We, um, you know, we've been growing for quite some time. The company is uh, actually 20 years old, and, and we've been working on it, um, working on the software and working on the technology to improve drug development for a long time. We're really pleased that we've reached this great milestone. And, you know, the, the proceeds from this will enable us to continue to invest in our business and keep growing. There's a lot of opportunities as we go forward. Well, obviously, all we've heard about all week is, uh, you know, uh, the IPO market and the huge momentum that we've seen, particularly for the tech IPOs, but also today some other drug and uh, drug supply companies doing extraordinarily well, um, backed by people like Peter Thiel and so on, for some of them. Did that play into the decision to go public this week? No, no. I mean, look, you know, when you start, a, when you start an IPO process, you start it many months before we get here. We, 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 we've arrived here today after, you know, the right point in a, you know, our process having worked pretty, it's a pretty intense process, really. Um, I think uh, the underlying healthcare industry is very healthy. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of biotech funding. There's a lot of really interesting drugs under development, certainly. Um, recently, there have been a number of new technologies that have reached the stage, so I think that's what you're seeing there in terms of just its uh, healthcare in general is doing, doing very well. Now, you do provide support to several COVID-19 projects. Explain to us exactly how and, and the other parts of the biosimulation that, that you have perfected. Yeah, so maybe, maybe I could just explain a little bit what we, what we mean by biosimulation. So what we have is software that, that, um, that models what happens when you put a drug into a body. Uh, and we can model, you know, how it acts on, on its target or how it's uh, transported around the body or how it's uh, eliminated from the body. And we can also model what happens across a wide variety of people that kind of match what happens when a drug's on the market. So people with different genetic uh, markers or different ancestry or different pre-existing conditions. So as we've gone into COVID to kind of address your, your, your original point, um, you know, we worked on more than 24 COVID-related projects this year. They range from, uh, you know, uh, combination therapies of, of existing drug, uh, you know, dr drugs that were on the market where people are testing against COVID. We worked on antibodies, worked on some vaccines. And, you know, what, what, what our software allows uh, companies to do is to run virtual clinical trials uh, within the software. So instead of doing a clinical trial in a, in a big patient population, you can do it very quickly on the software and you can get a very good idea what's likely to happen when you go into a big patient population. And that lets you design, you know, future trials better and make some, some, uh, you know, some some very good conclusions around the potential safety and effectiveness of that drug. Now, are you anticipating primarily organic growth from here, or are you looking for acquisitions and, and other ways to grow? Well, both. You know, we have a history. Uh, we have a very successful history as a company of doing quite a number of uh, of, of smaller acquisitions uh, over, a, you know, our history. I think we've done twelve in the last eight years. Uh, so we're certainly very open to that, and we'll have, um, you know, we'll have a nice balance sheet as, as, as opportunities arise. But we're really just focused on the fact that, you know, even though we've been around for a while, and even though most drugs today have used biosimulation at some point during their drug development pathway, we believe that the opportunities for this as we go forward are really, really large. So we're going to keep, you know, doing whatever, you know, either internally or externally to keep investing in that technology.